So I'm uh, getting ready to cut the grooves uh, for this um, timing gear or timing pulley, timing belt pulley. It's going to be uh, it's called an XL. Uh, it has a 0.2 inch pitch from center of tooth to center of groove. Uh, it'll have 30 grooves on it and um, <clears throat> I'm going to be using my uh, fourth axis here to uh, along with my milling machine to cut those teeth. Um, <clears throat> the, um, as you can see the spindle for my fourth axis uh, is an ER call it chuck. It's, a, it's an ER20 which will only take up to a half inch diameter shaft in the, in the uh, chuck or in the uh, call it. <clears throat> So I had to uh, make a custom um, shank for the, for the gear that uh, fits in the 5 16th inch hole in the center of the um, pulley. It's basically a uh, 1 16th diameter shoulder that fits most of the way through the gear. Then on this end it has a uh, threaded uh, 10, a 1024 threaded uh, screw or, or 1024 screw that screws into a threaded hole in the end of that uh, uh, shoulder and it's got a little brass washer there it's because that head is a little too small to bolt up directly against the pulley. So anyway, this goes in here basically, well, supposedly like this. Uh, let's see, I guess I need to take this out of here. And of course, it went on the floor, never to be seen again. So there, that goes in there like that. And that gets tightened up. I'll use a wrench to tighten that up a bit. Um, this is the cutter that I made. I don't know if you can see the ground edges on there. This is made from a, a, nine, a 530 set or a, uh, a 330 second. Well, no, wait a minute. It's a um, five, no, it's three, sorry. This is a three thirty seconds, half inch by uh, three, yeah, three, I think it's three thirty seconds, inch uh, slitting saw. And then I simply, all I did to it was grind a, a, a small angle all the way around the outside on the, against the teeth. So it would cut an angled groove in the, um, in the pulley. Uh, there's no there's no clearance on these side pieces but since I usually just cut soft materials like aluminum or brass I don't think it'll be a problem. So I'm going to uh, stop the video while I um, get everything else set up and then I'll resume when I'm ready to cut the teeth.
So here is the finished uh, 30 tooth gear made out of brass. Um, I just got uh, got done cleaning up the edges of the file a little bit. Now I need to uh, drill and tap the holes for the set screws. Uh, it turned out good, uh, although in the interest of full disclosure, I have to tell you that this is the second one I made, the first one in my usual fashion. Uh, I, I uh, <clears throat> made a mistake. The uh, cutting the uh, cutting gears or cutting indexed work like this. I mean, there's a lot of things that you have to set to zero and I had several restarts and <clears throat> on the last restart I um, I had missed a setting and uh, it boogered up one of the teeth so uh, had to start over luckily it's not a long process uh, turning down another blank and already had the machine mostly set up so it was uh, easy enough to redo so that's it for here uh, next video hopefully I'll have it all back together and we'll be uh, testing it out to see how it works Thanks for watching. Okay, I got the new uh, pulleys on the motor. I'm going to have to uh, convert those motor mounting holes into slots, I see, because my belt is just a little too loose. Uh, but that's not a big deal. Everything else is hooked up. I don't have the cabinet finished, obviously. I got my uh, eight and a half pound slab of steel laying across there. Uh, that's going to be ultimately mounted on the underneath side of the uh, of the cabinet here this way so it'll be out of sight but will contribute a significant amount of mass to the whole thing so it won't jump around so much anyway uh, let's uh, give this a shot here um, I'm going to ramp the voltage up slowly um, <clears throat> that's about 25 percent voltage on the uh, variac um, <clears throat> Well, this is about uh, that's about half. You see, everything is still relatively calm. This is um, three quarters. It's vibrating, but it's not jumping. Uh, the steel is managing to hold it down pretty good. And then this is uh, this is full. That's full speed, which I think is plenty fast enough for most sawing. And and it is vibrating, but it's. Um, it's not moving around. It's not hopping up and down. So I think uh, I think I've got this problem solved. I may still go ahead and add a counterweight to the uh, to the crank, but at this point I don't know that it's really necessary. It will cut down on vibration if I do that. So not that hard to make. I've already designed a new one. So we may go ahead and do that. Thanks for watching.